Charlie, it's been an interesting week on the markets. A lot of focus on mining services and the volatile period ahead. They're really facing a crunch. Yeah, mining services had a bad week as the profit warning of Thon, as I like to call it, spread up the market cap chain to Wally and UG. All that surprised people. I think what people are surprised by, Deb, is the speed of how quickly the mining investment cycle is slowing and the pressure of both on the revenue and margin level for mining services companies. This is BHP Rio Fortescue Woodside really aggressively turning down the tap, but also renegotiating deals with their suppliers. So I think this will continue, and it's actually one of the key features of the market is that sort of end of the mining services cycle, which mm. really stepped up last week. Yeah. And such so is not just the miners. Retail also took a hit. We saw West Farmers deliver the downgrade for Target. It's a bit of a disconnect, really, isn't it? Because we're seeing the share market going quite well, quite strongly. Yes. Well, I think just on the mining services, you saw just then the iron ore price down to $125. So the mining boom is coming off quickly. But as well as you say, there's this disconnect with the rest of the market in that I think global central bank quantitative easing print printing money is pumping up the share market overall, but you look here, most profits are being squeezed, and that's including the retailers, the miners, and as well in the search for yield, it's pushing up the price of, say, the banks, perhaps beyond what their profits are really showing. And we had a report in the Financial Review yesterday showing the Commonwealth Bank is now the most expensive bank stock in the world. Mm. So it's a question of can this share market go up higher when profits overall are, are, have a, have, are under pressure? Yeah, avoid that bubble. Well, the